So friends, in our MEP oral, there are some questions asked on the topic called fresh water generator. So I have covered all the questions related to this topic. So the questions are as follows. Fresh water generator working principle, air brine ejector working principle, precautions for operation of fresh water generator, reasons for loss of vacuum in fresh water generator, reasons for high salinity in fresh water generator, how to minimize scale formation, regulating the capacity of fresh water generator, fresh water generator leak test now moving towards our first question fresh water generator working principle so the basic principle of all low pressure fresh water generator is that boiling point of the water can be reduced by reducing the pressure of the atmosphere surrounding it by maintaining a low pressure water can be boiled at low temperatures say 50 degrees celsius the source of the heat for the fresh water generator could be waste heat rejected by main engine jacket water cooling so when this question was asked to my friend so he replied the answer there to so fresh water generator works on low pressure principle and he explained the full detail what i have mentioned here so now moving towards our second question air brain injector working principle it works on the principle of convergent divergent nozzle as it provides the venturi effect at the point of diffusion as the tube gets narrows at the throat the velocity of the fluid increases and because of the venturi effect it pressure decreases vacuum will occur in the diffuser throat where the suction line will be provided when the sea water pass through ejector it cross through narrow convergent divergent nozzle which provides venturi effect at the throat a narrow tube of air ejector the velocity of sea water increases and because of the venturi effect it pressure decreases so because of this pressure drop vacuum will occur in the diffuser throat so now i will attach one video with which i will explain you how this process is taking place so when sea water pass through the ejector at the narrow throat velocity of sea water will increase but due to this the pressure drop will be there and this is known as venturi effect so this is the area where the pressure drop will be seen but here the velocity of the sea water will increase due to this decrease in pressure the vacuum will be made and due to this vacuum the brine or air will suck in and move out mixing with sea water moving towards our next question precautions for operation of fresh water generator sea water pressure at the inlet of air ejector must be 3 bar or more the pressure at ejector should not exceed 0.8 bar never start fresh water generator distillate pump in dry condition operate jacket cooling water valves to the fresh water generator gradually to avoid thermal shock to the main engine feed water to be supplied for a few minutes to cool down the evaporator before stopping never open the drain valve of evaporator before opening vacuum breaker otherwise atmospheric pressure causes sea water inside to hit the deflector so these were the some precautions which we should take care at the operation of fresh water generator so moving towards our next question reasons for loss of vacuum in fresh water generator so these are the some points which are responsible for loss of vacuum in fresh water generator so loss of vacuum can be due to condensate level is too high excessive back pressure on the overboard side due to high draft of ship this parameter affect the vacuum in fresh water generator to some extent so this was the point which surveyor wants to listen went left open it can be due to the human error condensation not taking place properly because condenser tubes may be fouled or choked with mud condenser evaporator tubes are leaking nozzle is enlarged and wear down vacuum ejector nozzle partially choked ejector pump pressure is low due to which vacuum ejector won't work properly air leakage in the system is taking place ejector pump efficiency drops due to improper maintenance So for this leak test I have attached one more slide at the last of this video so please watch this video full so these were the point due to which the loss of vacuum is there in fresh water generator 
so moving towards our next question reasons for high salinity in fresh water generator diminister is not functioning properly or diminister element may be torn out carry over of sea water droplets too high evaporation rate excessive vacuum when sea water pump temperature is too low sea water feed rate is too low leakage in the condenser tube when fresh water generator distillate water more than its capacity so for all the leakage test of the fresh water generator i have attached one slide which will be helpful for you so please watch it till last so moving towards our next question how to minimize the scale formation scale formation in fresh water generator can be controlled and minimized by continuous chemical treatment so there are some compounds or chemicals which are used for the treatment so these are polysulfate compounds like sodium polysulfate with anti foam is preferred by marine engineers and is extensively used on ships their trade name is different like back treat by unitor amber oil by drew chemicals so these are the some chemicals which are used for the treatment of fresh water generator so whenever this question is asked what chemicals are used for the treatment in fresh water generator so you have to tell it polysulfate compounds like sodium polysulfate so moving towards our next question regulating the capacity of fresh water generator capacity of a fresh water generator means the quantity of fresh water produced by it per day the capacity of fresh water generator can be varied by reducing or increasing the amount of jacket cooling water to the evaporator the quantity of jacket cooling water to the evaporator can be adjusted by adjusting the bypass valve provided so there is one question asked in mmd that how will you regulate the capacity of fresh water generator so we can just answer that we can adjust the bypass valve to adjust the fresh water capacity so there are some more questions asked that what will you do when the temperature of sea water is high or temperature of sea water is low so i will make you understand that what we have to do while these conditions arise so during very low sea water temperatures evaporation temperature can fall to a lower value in that case adjust vacuum adjusting valve to control vacuum inside the shell cooling sea water quantity to the condenser also can be reduced to increase the evaporation temperature during high sea water temperatures evaporation temperature can go up in that case increase the quantity of sea water to the condenser for reducing evaporation temperature so as yes, in our previous question i have discussed that how to minimize the scale formation so these are the conditions due to which the scale formation is there too high evaporation temperature can cause scale formation in the heat exchanger on the other hand too low evaporation temperature result in sea water carry over which increases salinity of fresh water produced so these are the conditions which can decrease the capacity of fresh water generator to generate the fresh water so moving towards our last question fresh water generator leak test so this is the question mostly asked in our orals and this will be not available in any book so in fresh water generator leak test first isolate the fresh water generator close outlet of distillate pump vacuum breaker valve bottom blow off valve field water valve then connect one air connection to fresh water generator and give one bar air pressure in evaporator shell then apply soap bubble solution on the joints packing check whether bubbles are coming or not the evaporator should maintain the pressure without bubble formation to pass leak test so this was the leak test which is carried on fresh water generator so this can be also carried by maintaining the vacuum inside the fresh water generator shell so both methods are okay but mostly this method is followed in which we connect an air hose and we provide air and maintain a pressure of 1 bar so friends these were the questions which are mostly asked on the topic called fresh water generator so hopefully you would have understood these questions and friends please like and share this video so that all can get this video and please subscribe the channel marine health post